Okay, today's objective is to solve two-step equations that have fractions or decimals. Remember, when the coefficient, that's the number in front of the variable, of a variable in equation is a fraction, you can use the reciprocal to solve the equation. Reciprocal is what happens when you flip the fraction upside down, or take the inverse, that's the fancy word. Okay, when you have a two-step equation, gather the variables on one side of the equation and the constants on the other before multiplying by the reciprocal. That really deals with step three of our steps that we follow for solving equations, so we don't have to worry about that too much today. All right, so let's take a look at problem number one. We have 5-6-x minus 4 equals 11. So go through your steps here. And we don't have any parentheses, so there's no distributive property. Uh, there's no like terms. The terms that we have on the left side are 5, 6, x, and the second term is negative 4. So we don't need to do step 3. So now we are going to take care of step 4, addition and subtraction. They're subtracting 4, so we're going to add 4 to both sides. Remember, keeping our equation balanced. The 4's will zero out, and that'll give us 5, 6, x equals 15. Now we need to get rid of the fraction. If you're dividing, so they're multiplying by 5, 6. So since they're multiplying, we're going to divide by 5, 6. Now this is where it gets a little confusing, but remember, when you divide by a fraction, you're actually multiplying by its reciprocal. So dividing by 5, 6 is equal to multiplying by 6 over 5. So we're going to multiply both sides by 6 over 5. That keeps our equation balanced. The 6 over 5 and 5 over 6 cancel out and give us our big fat 1 there. And if you do 15 times 6 over 5, if you want to cross cancel, you can, the 15 and the 5. Um, but that's basically 90 over 5. 90 divided by 5 equals 18, and that's our answer. Okay, so now we're going on to problem number 2. We have 2 thirds y minus 6 equals 2. No step 1, no step 2, no step 3. So we will take care of step 4 and add 6 to both sides. Our 6 is on the left, 0 out, and that will leave us with 2 thirds y and 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Now we need to multiply by the reciprocal. So what are we going to multiply by here? Well, remember, there we're going to divide by 2. We're supposed to be dividing by 2 thirds. When you're dividing by a fraction, you flip it over. So the reciprocal here is 3 over 2. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3 over 2. On the left side, they basically cross cancel out and give us a big fat 1 there. And that'll leave us y, and 8 times 3 is 24, and the bo bottom will stay 2. So we get 24 over 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Would you try, well, I don't know if you want to try this one or not. It's a little tricky, um, but it's a good one if you can do it, this, then you really know what's going on here. So if you want to pause it, give it a try. That would be wonderful. If you don't want, if you don't feel comfortable with this one, then follow along with me. So, there's no step one, no step two, no step three. Now, there is step four. You want to make sure look in front of that ten. Don't look behind it. That minus goes with the three fourths x. So we're going to subtract ten from both sides. If you really tried to add ten. If you're doing things correctly, 10 plus 10 is 20, and you're not getting rid of the 10, so that's not helping you. So those will zero out, and that leaves us 3 fourths x, negative 3 fourths x, bring, bring down that minus sign, and 28 minus 10, that's pretty straightforward, that's 18. So what are we going to divide by here? Well, we're dividing by negative 3 fourths. So if we're dividing by negative 3 fourths, what are we multiplying by? We're multiplying by a positive, or sorry, not positive, what am I thinking? By a negative 4 thirds. So because a negative times a negative will cancel each other out. 
So those cancel out. That leaves us our big fat 1. And 4 times 18 is 72 divided by 3 is negative 24. That's kind of a tough one. Would you try number 4? Go ahead and pause the video. So now, hopefully you've tried it. You would add 8 to both sides. Those zero out and leave us 3 fifths G. A negative 2 plus a positive 8 is 6. They're multiplying by 3 fifths, so we're going to divide by 3 fifths. So we do the reciprocal and we multiply both sides by 5 thirds. Those cancel out, give us our big fat 1, and we're left with G is equal to 30 over 3. Well, 30 over 3 is simplified to 10. You got a couple problems like this, and these can be a little bit tricky, so I wanted to take care of to help you with these. You got two problems in your homework like this. So we have two thirds. There are parentheses, so we need to kind of get rid of those parentheses. The easiest way to do that is to get rid of that two thirds. So just like we've done before, we're going to multiply both sides by three over two. That'll give me 42 over 2. 3 times 14 is 42. 2 times 1 is 2. Our 3 over 2 and our 2 over 3 cancel out. And we're left with 9y minus 15. I'm going to I don't like that 42 over 2, so I'm going to simplify that to 21. 42 divided by 2 is 21. Now I can go on to step 4. Add 15 to both sides. And those zero out and we get 36 is equal to 9y. Divide both sides by 9 and we get our big fat 1 there and we get y is equal to 4. And that pretty much sums up the lesson for today. Tomorrow we'll work on decimals so um, be ready for that. If you have any questions let me know. Um, and remember you're asking specific questions. Don't tell me you didn't understand tell me what you didn't understand. I want to know specifically, did you know, not understand reciprocals, whatever. So hopefully you're having a good night and I will see you tomorrow.